I'm here with Bill Hollywood and Jim Shank. Thank you so much, guys, for coming today. Thank you. Tell me, what does this event mean to you? What does it mean? It, it means a lot. It means, uh, you know, taking care of our first responders, taking care of people that take care of all of us, and being respectful, and being respectful of this country and what we stand for. Absolutely. It's kind of what it means to me. Okay. And how about you? Pretty much the same. Yeah. It's brotherhood. Um, we're, we're in tune with the first responders and, and everything that they stand for. And our sisters are putting this on. So we're here to support them. Wonderful. Thank you so much for your service. Thank I really appreciate it. Thank you. So this is just a great way to remember, you know, those fallen 19 years ago. Um, you know, it, it, it keeps, keeps their memory alive. And so, tell me a little bit about your background and how you became involved in this. So, uh, I'm just a motorcycle enthusiast. I uh, wanted to come out here and show my support. Members of the community uh, remember, you know, their fallen American brethren uh, from 19 years ago, you know, um, in New York, Pentagon, uh, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Um, you know, so it's, it's great. It's great to still see that, uh, you know, we're still very patriotic 19 years later about this event. Absolutely. It's important to me just to remember the lives that were taken on 9-11, um, especially being a part of the fire department. There was a ladder, it was called Ladder 118, that was, there was a photo taken of them on the bridge right before everything had happened and a bunch of them had lost their lives. So it's just really important to show the community that there's a bunch of us that, you know, respect the people that were in 9-11 and also for veterans in general. And what is your role as a part of the fire department? Um, I'm a volunteer firefighter and EMT. Um, next month will be a year that I've been a part of it. Awesome. And what do you think this this type of an event signifies to the community? Um, it just shows that a lot of people can come together no matter what um, to, you know, be there for this day um, to show remembrance for everybody there. So it just really brings the community together. Wonderful. Thank you so much for joining us and thank you for your service. Awesome. I'm here with Bonnie, the founder of the Ketchikan Biker Chicks 907. Bonnie, why was it important to you to create this event? We wanted to give back to the community um, a sense of freedom and love and respect for all that they have done for us. And being it was 9-11, it was a huge impact, not just on America, but here in Alaska as well, because we are so small. And um, we have a lot of our, our friends are police officers and fire partner, fire department. And it's just our way of saying thank you and let's not forget the most important of all is our vets, our fire department, our police department, our search and rescue, our Coast Guard. You know, all of those guys, they're all one bundle. And it's our way of saying thank you for all of your, what you do for us to keep us safe in our home. And which of those groups are represented here today in this event? Ketchikan Police Department, South Tongass Fire Department. Uh, North Tongass said that they were, there they are right there. And uh, the city police, the yeah. state trooper said that they may try to come, uh -huh. but they are cutting back. So it all depends on how busy that they are. Yep. And we have some vets here today too. We spoke yes, to them as we well, have, yes. We have many vets here. I don't, oh, I can't point great. them all out to you, but yes. We do have a lot of vets here and we love them and they are very near and dear to us. Thank you so much for creating this wonderful event for the community and good luck on your ride today. Thank you, yes. And if it wasn't for all of these wonderful people, we wouldn't be here today. Exactly. <laughs> they, are, they are making this happen. Yes, they are. Yes. Wonderful. You know, people talk about how first responders, you know, are first responders and, and they go into the danger but I mean those folks they demonstrated it with their lives 
to yeah. show what they're willing to do for their community and yeah. the, the, the citizens and how dedicated they are. They take those oaths seriously to you know protect and serve and that type of thing. So I think it's important to acknowledge that and respect uh, um, the, the lost ones and their families, you know, and just acknowledge it. Yeah, it's also a way I think for the community to give thanks to the first responders like you for the work that you do. I believe that too, yes. I, I mean, our community, I, I'm very proud of our community. We come together just like you see here, uh, all together. Everyone's from different backgrounds, but yet we're all together here, uh, you know, honoring uh, those folks that serve, protect and serve. So it just confirms, you know, with, with everyone that, 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 that we are in this together you know we, we're all humans and and we, this is the way to resolve almost anything whether it's some type of tragedy or difficulty that's going on with the city or the nation or the world I agree. thank you very much and thank you for your service all right thank you thank you Thanks. i am really proud that we have a large representation here today and we are so grateful that you guys have